Good evening and welcome to Cornell Junior Senior High School's Open House. At this time, we would like you to join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. So please stand and we'll the To the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. On behalf of the Cornell School Board, the administration, and the faculty, I would like to welcome parents to this evening's activities. We are certainly happy that you could join with us on this special event. Everything will begin in your child's first period class. The first period teacher will give you a copy of your child's schedule and the time schedule for tonight's program. You will begin in period one. For your convenience, there are class lists displayed outside the classrooms and in the junior and senior high hallways. Please listen to the announcements for the directions when the change of classes will begin. Also throughout the evening, please walk down the central hallway there are many fundraising um, opportunities for you to visit different organizations and purchase some items in the library at our annual book fair. There is also a Chinese auction sponsored by the Student Council. Another point of information, Edline, the online program for parent access to your child's grades and class progress, um, is all, you can get your code if you do not have yours. Um, in the senior high office from Mrs. Hunt. We hope you have a pleasant visit and we invite you to take advantage of the refreshments that will be available in the cafeteria at the close of the evening. I'd also like to take this time to thank the Open House Committee that worked very diligently on the activities for this evening, Ms. Ramsey, Mrs. Hunt, Mrs. Villarreal, and also I'd like to um, Give some recognition to Mr. Haskins, our Channel 86 sponsor, and the students that are with us tonight behind the camera, Dan Clayton, Sean Miles, and our two evening broadcasters, Jamie Byron and Morgan Mundell. Thank you, and we hope you um, have a nice evening here at Cornell. And Here's a video clip created by CHS TV for tonight's open house. Congratulations to Senior Rihanna. Also, congratulations to the junior high football team. Southside Beaver 18 0 yesterday with touchdowns from Isaiah Neely, Latrell Davis, and Bubba Wera. Also, yesterday, the 8th grade Lady Raiders defeated the Brentwood Spartans 31 22. The win improved the girls' record to 5 0. The 7th and 8th grade girls' basketball team will play again on Thursday, September 23rd at 3 30. 
Now for the Today. golf team, Cornell finished 7th out of 29th at the MAC tournament at Fox Run Golf Course. Cornell junior Zach Scheimer scored 12th out of 87 golfers. Cooper Urban Reader and Ryan McCutcheon also scored well. Great job. One of our CHS anchors filed this report today before attending the away volleyball game. Good evening. My name is Tiana Smith for Channel 86. Tonight we're going to take a deeper look into Cornell's initiatives to better their students' education and prepare them for college coursework. We're going to take a deeper look into the basic applied statistics class through the University of Pittsburgh and the Robert Morris University Ecology course. Here, Cornell has introduced a new college and high school statistics class taught by Mrs. Ruth Mahali. She earned her bachelor's degree from Penn State University in Mathematical Sciences and Education. She is now pursuing a master's degree at the University of Pittsburgh in Research Statistics. It is for juniors and seniors that want to get college credit while they're in high school, and it's through the University of Pittsburgh. So they will get four math credits for free since they're doing it here at Cornell. Returning this year is the Robert Morris University Ecology course taught by Mr. Doug Haskins. He earned his bachelor's degree in secondary education and biology at the Clarion University. He is also pursuing his master's at University of Pittsburgh in secondary science education. It is a college class, so students have to, you know, when they do the work, it has to be at a college level. So we're looking for a very professional, very um, appropriate academic level when they turn work in. Um, it's very similar to any environmental course that you know, students would take their first year at college, maybe second year. So it's like an introductory course to environmental science. How do you fit the college setting into the high school setting? Um, so we've taken the uh, syllabus from RMU, and it's pretty hefty. And what we've done is we've taken all those concepts and ideas that students have to learn, we spread them out over the whole school year. So in comparison to a regular college class, college students do a lot more work outside of school, producing papers, and working on assignments. We do a lot of assignments in class. We have the time, so what we do is we actually do a lot of the work in class, um, in projects with, with the students. So it's not like a regular college course where they do a lot of that work outside. What kind of things are the students learning now? They are learning everything they would learn in a first semester statistics class in college. So right now we are working on taking samples and testing data. Um, is the grading scale different from Cornell than it is at Pitt? Yes, it's a lot different. Um, the final is about 30% of the grade, so that'll be a little bit different for them. And also, um, they don't get as many points for homework, and there's no fun things like extra credit or anything like that. So, <laughs> yeah, a little different. Students seem to have two fine teachers leading the way to their preparedness for college. Hopefully all the students leave Cornell with much more than college credits, but also a better understanding of college life and a great work ethic. This is Tiana Smith signing out for Channel Interested students should sign up in the junior high office to meet with representatives. Thursday, October 9th, Clarion. Friday, October 31st, Washington and Jefferson. Tuesday, November 4th, Cleveland and finally, we would like to announce the CHS TV content is podcast on iTunes daily. Visit the iTunes store and search Cornell High School. Or you can go to the Cornell webpage to view broadcast. Also available online is the latest Hilltop newsletter, Going Green. The Hilltop is using the internet instead of being printed on paper. To visit the Hilltop, parents can go to Cornell School District's webpage and click on the link. On behalf of the students at CHS TV, we hope you have a good night. Please join us for refreshments in the cafeteria at the conclusion of today's event. Thank you.